everyone, my name's Sarah. I'm an educator at the St. Louis Zoo and I'm going to have a baby. I'm really excited about being a mom and I wanna wish all the other moms out there a happy Mother's Day. To celebrate, I thought we could learn about some of the cutest babies around, zoo babies. Each year, the St. Louis Zoo welcomes new baby animals. Today, we're gonna to learn about how they behave, the ways that their parents take care of them, and what baby animals are called. Now let's sing a song to learn about zoo babies. Kangaroo. The joey in the pouch goes hide, 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 hide. The joey in the pouch goes hide, hide, hide all day long. Grizzly bear. The cub in the dirt goes dig, 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 dig. The cub in the dirt goes dig, dig, dig all day long. Elephant. The calf in the family grabs mom's tail, grabs mom's tail. Grabs mom's tail, the calf in the family grabs mom's tail all day long. Zebra. The foal in the herd stays really close, stays really close, stays really close. The foal in the herd stays really close all day long. Penguin. The chicks on the rocks waddle and hop, waddle and hop, waddle and hop. The chicks on the rocks waddle and hop all day long. River otter. The pup in the stream learns how to swim, learns how to swim, learns how to swim. The pup in the stream learns how to swim all day long. Now let's have a look at one of my favorite animals, the Asian elephant. Our Asian elephant, Ronnie, is currently pregnant with her third calf and due to give birth sometime this summer. Trunk. Good girl. Open. Good girl. My name is Tori. I'm a keeper here at the River's Edge, and today I'm working with our 23-year-old female Asian elephant, Ronnie, um, who is expecting a calf in the uh, summer of 2020. Today I'm working with Ronnie on some of her exercise program here at the St. Louis Zoo. All of our elephants go through daily wellness checks where we get a good look at them every single day, and then we go ahead and do a routine of exercises with them. Ronnie, since she is pregnant, gets some special prenatal exercises so she gets a little bit more attention to help make sure that she's staying nice and fit and ready for her um, upcoming birth. So today we're focusing a lot on keeper directed exercises with Ronnie. However, we like to make sure that our elephants are getting a lot of exercise every day and we make sure that that happens by giving them a lot of choice and being able to move from habitat to habitat and forage for food naturally is a big part of their family group moving along. So all of the exercises that I just worked through with Ronnie were derived from natural behaviors. Some of the ones that we did, I call them her crunches. So she lays down and then goes up to a half position where she's getting up and then lays back down. And we also did what I refer to as her walking lunges where she backs up and walks towards me while alternating which leg she lifts the entire way up until she gets to that point. Once we finish up with our wellness checks, we also go and do an exercise session with all of our elephants. This helps keep them mentally and physically engaged and really motivated day to day and it really helps us build positive keeper animal relationships with our Asian elephants.
We also do walking with her, getting her walking around our woods habitat. Sometimes her family joins her in for those walks as well. So Ronnie's cap is a part of a breeding recommendation from the SSP program. That's our species survival plan. So Raja is the father to this cap and we're very excited to have the cap join our uh, multi-generational herd here in the future. A male Somali wild ass foal named Tobias was born at the St. Louis Zoo on July 30th, 2019. When he was born, Tobias weighed 51 pounds. The Somali wild ass, a subspecies of the African wild ass, is a critically endangered member of the horse family. They are found in small numbers in desert areas in the Horn of Africa. Somali wild ass foal are able to follow their mothers within a few hours after being born. And usually by the time they are one year old, they are half grown, weaned, and no longer need their mothers. Check out these hungry tadpoles growing up at the Herpetarium. Hatched in September of last year, these Lake Titicaca frog tadpoles are growing up behind the scenes in a special habitat that is cooled to provide the adequate environment. These tadpoles haven't stopped eating since they hatched. We feed them a variety of greens, including kale, dandelion, and collard greens, but their favorite seems to be spinach. Gloria indeed. A female grevy zebra foal was born at the St. Louis Zoo on June 19, 2019. Gloria weighed 84 pounds at birth. Her parents are mother, 9-year-old Amira, and father, 10-year-old Dewey. Gloria made her public debut on Friday, July 5th. The St. Louis Zoo Wild Care Institute Center for the Conservation in the Horn of Africa supports conservation of the endangered grubby zebra and other unique species in northern Kenya. Here are some activities you can do with your family. You can compare your footprint to an elephant calves. First, take a piece of paper and measure about six inches diameter. That means across. Do the same going vertically, creating a giant plus sign on your paper. Then connect the four points with rounded lines. Now you have the size of a baby elephant's footprint. Erase the giant plus sign, then place a foot inside the circle and trace it. How does it compare? Walk like a penguin parent. Did you know that while penguin chicks are still young, they need protection from the bitter cold weather and potential predators? To stay safe, they find shelter under the warm bodies of their parents. However, their parents still need to move around, so they will often walk around with their chicks sitting right on their feet. Build a rhinoceros hornbill nest. To build a nest, they find a hollowed out space and fill it with mud, twigs, and all kinds of materials to make it cozy. Then they seal it up to keep safe. At home, you can use a cardboard box and stuff it with the coziest items you can find. Make sure to leave enough room for you and your grown up to fit inside when you're finished. We'll conclude our webinar today with a little game called the Animal Baby Name Game. Can you guess what each animal is called? A baby elephant is called... A calf! A baby penguin is called... A chick! A baby zebra is called a 
A fool. A baby lion is called. A cub. Babarusa babies are called. Piglets. And a baby okapi is called. A calf. Thanks for playing today, guys. It was wonderful to have you at my webinar. Stay safe and have a happy Mother's Day.